So, cell stage. There is one new, uh, change to cell stage. Also, hi guys, this is Savage Brick Gaming here, and, uh, this is the new world record for Spore New Game Plus. It's a different category from New Game, and you're gonna see that in quite a second. But, first we gotta get through cell and creature stage, which are about the same, except there is the new, uh, tricking cell stage you're, go you're gonna about to see. But yeah. Pretty standard cell stage so far. This run is a final time of 23.32, which is the first sub-24 full game run. Eh, with a bit of an asterisk on that, it is not the same category as New Game, which is the one I've been running up until now, and the one that's still a 28-18. Here's the new trick, by the way. Um, as you're about to see, I'm about to get to negative DNA in Cell Stage. Whoops. I'm trying to copy a uh, Vlagella, but for the same cost as it would be to copy an eye. Sometimes it takes multiple tries. That one took mm, quite a few. I could reset, but I decided to keep going. I want to eat a lot of leafy greens in this cell stage for a uh, because of the history uh, diagram thing. I want to be towards the top because, as you're going to see, we're going to skip most of tribal stage, which means we're going to have to uh, become a religious vehicle with only one tribe worth of allying. So. That's gonna be uh, kind of hard if we don't uh, if we eat a lot of meat in cell stage. So we want to uh, prepare for that by eating a lot of green vegetables. Very healthy diet. Now the thing about adding two flagella is no longer the booster route is kind of obsolete now. You don't have to add a booster in order to get the flagella. Now the booster is not required for the full game route, but the flagella is because if you don't get the flagella. Not the flagella, the cilia. The cilia is required because if you don't get the cilia, you're gonna enter creature stage with a lot of parts not unlocked, and that's gonna be a huge pain in the butt. So it's best to get the cilia to ensure that does not happen. And uh, yeah. This mill split in cell stage was actually kind of insane. Actually, I don't know, because I, I kind of clear out my splits for the new category, so I'm not sure if that's a real goal split or if that's just a goal split because I've only done like 50 attempts like this. have to check my history to make sure I'm not actually getting herbivore, which it looked like I was, so I'm going to have to eat some more meat to compensate for the lots of uh, veggies that I ate. It's a delicate balancing act. Oh, what would be really good is getting a lot of uh, socializing a lot in creature stage. That'll really help, and that'll also give us fireworks in tribal stage, for sure, which is useful. bad luck. Yeah, this could have been a sub-350 cell stage if that didn't happen, but eh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Only one arm, that looks kind of silly. Kind of sick at the moment, so you might, I might hear, it might sound more uh, congested than usual. But uh, yeah. 
So start a creature stage. You still got to ally two nests, and the terrain is going to look very weird. So the re the idea behind the new game plus category, the rules have recently changed. That allow it allows uh, terrain editing, so you can go to a uh, space save and then go to a, a planet that you could play on, like this planet, and you can edit the terrain. And what that does is it really screws up uh, tribal stage and civ stage. So you could trip. You can skip most of. Uh, you skip like half of civil stage, and you skip most of tribal stage with this. But the train's gonna look very weird in uh, creature stage, and that's intentional. So evolving, putting on parts. Now it also means I'm allowed to have creatures in my Sporpedia before the run. So. uh... When it comes to flock duplicates, I can have those in the Sporpedia before the run. So that means I no longer have to save and exit out, which saves time. But creature stage is mostly the same. Except at the end I have to go to a very specific spot. Which you're going to see at the end. Still gotta get parts. That's still the most important thing to do in uh, the beginning of Creature Stage, is to get parts. Now, I don't think, I think in this uh, run, I don't think I actually get the parts that I want. I really want to get the uh, floppity foot part and the uh, toxic Telson weapon. Unlocking, usually I end up unlocking wings and the uh, nurple part, which I really hate because those are useless parts. But there, I think I got Cloppity. And here, once I uh, level up, I'm going to start switching to attacking. Here, I sneak, and then I go closer to them because that way uh, strike does twice the amount of damage. Actually, maybe not twice. Maybe like 50% more. And here I'm just going to uh, go to one of my migration nests. And I'm going to do something funny. I'm going to actually migrate back to the nest which I started at. I didn't unlock the weapon, but I did unlock a bunch of crappy parts that I didn't need. Gold. Kind of a mirage, though. It's not a real gold. Sad to say. I just hate when you're looking for nests to kill and you find a fucking empty nest. Here, I'm gonna scratch that, hoping for a uh, Toxitocin, which I believe I get. Here, the meteor is gonna spawn, and then I'm gonna try to kill this guy, but he's gonna make it very hard for me because he can fly. The meteor's always really inconvenient, and there's no way to skip it, really. I mean, you could try to skip it by changing the graphics effects, but that's only somewhat effective. And that's a very unlucky epic. As you, as you can see, I had to uh, <laughs> abandon that rogue because the epic kept chasing me. And I have to click on the minimap. I, I can click on the minimap and not uh, exit out of the uh, 
the allying phase. And thank god when you uh, level up, the fucking epic goes back to where it came from. That, that is very lucky. I didn't actually know that until this run. And I'm going to finish my migration. I know it says I'm minus 119 with about a minute to save in sip stage, but that's uh, don't get overhyped. It's not. I'm probably gonna lose all that time in this last split of creature stage because, uh, well, creature stage is is tough, and I still have a long way to go in creature stage. And also, I gotta. So when you uh, spawn in a summon squad, um, you can get anywhere from one to three creatures, from three to five creatures. And it's a bit unlucky if you get uh, only three, because then your battle, your attacking is slower. And on this one, I got three, so that's kind of unlucky. And also, I tried to attack a very strong nest, so two of them died in the process. And yeah, I looked over there at that. I don't know why I paused for so long. I didn't want to go attack these guys because these guys are. These guys are strong, and I only have a uh, a level three strike and one flock member. So I wanted to. Uh, I'm actually going to go back to my nest and evolve some more, which takes a bunch of time. So that's this is a spot in which this run can be improved. <laughs> I love the fast uh, the super jump, as we've come to call it. See, the time's already ticking down. Now I can heal these guys. Now a spaceship is going to spawn in. Also gonna eat this egg. I had to check my history there because of uh, tribal stage. We're only gonna we're only going to ally one uh, tribe, and if I'm too far down on the uh, history thing, then I will uh, get economic in this stage, and that's gonna be really bad. Here, I did get credit for that kill, which is a really bum big bummer. That lost some time. I can't believe this one nest took a whole minute to uh, to extinct. And all I need to do right now is migrate to my last nest, and I should be good. I'm gonna fall on it. I'm gonna fall on it. All right, so we got three creature stage, and we got level five speed there's a bit of a lag spike there i don't know what that was about we got level five speed which is good now for tribal stage you're going to notice a few things for one the islands that uh i ended on in creature stage is tiny so there's only going to be room for one tribe to spawn this is the advantage of uh See, this is why this category is so much faster. This is um, this saves minutes. This saves like five minutes, just on its own in tribal stage. So I only need um, I don't even need to spawn in any babies. It's just that good. 
I'm gonna move my chief over over there. For whatever reason, he takes the long way. If you look on the mini map, he like tries to curve around because I guess the world is round or something. But if you look on the mini map, my other two guys are going the uh, the short way rather than the long way. So I don't know what that was about. And as you can see at the bottom, right above the, uh, right next to Flying Fish, I have fireworks, which will immediately uh, make the first try blue. The one problem with fireworks is it kind of immobilizes everyone of that tribe for a second. So I can't like immediately uh, ally them again. They have to celebrate first. The one workaround is if you ally um, a member of the tribe that isn't affected, like this baby here. But that's not always guaranteed to work because they're always usually together when they spawn in, so. And that was Tribal Stage. And sometimes it's rare, but sometimes two uh, tribes spawn. Um, we don't exactly know what caused it to happen, but uh, yeah, sometimes that, that is a run killer if, you, if two tribes spawn, because that loses like two, three minutes all on its own. And Civ Stage, Civ Stage is very weird in this mode. I think it's I think it's actually slower than regular Civ mode. There are only eight cities rather than ten, but there have been reports of people doing this glitch and getting only four cities. So um, but uh, we don't know how to do that, or maybe maybe we could do that, but we haven't done that yet. We have to. Uh, exit a land bridge to get all the way and this terrain is very weird um, I think the goal for that is to um, make it so that less city spawn but I'm not sure how effective that is since eight cities spawn is, uh, eight cities do spawn end up spawning I need to make sure this guy doesn't run into this epic because that's really inconvenient and because of all these geysers I'm, uh, I'm getting, we'll never be short of cash throughout this entire, uh, stage. So, yeah. But also, the first city, the first city in normal Civ stage usually spawns someplace you'd expect, like, someplace close by. But in this mode, it sort of spawns in a random spot. So, the first city, uh, it... It takes kind of a long time to take over, longer than usual. And there I lost a vehicle to an epic, which sucks. And, you know, I probably could have saved time if I didn't go uh, get that geyser real quick, but, um, because I only need four, ah, God, stupid car won't corroborate, because I only need four, uh, Vehicles to uh, capture one city, but uh, I didn't end up. I didn't end up doing that in the end. Okay. Now the Civ stage, I have a whole minute to save because in the last run that I did, it was really bad. <laughs> This is really lucky because I got two uh, cities that spawned right next to each other. I just went and got an extra Spice Geyser real quick because what the hell, why not? <laughs> you saw I lost a vehicle to an Epic there. That sucks.
Air Act delete a few vehicles in order to get some more. It was worth the price, I'd say. Now, for whatever reason, this uh, this progress bar doesn't start right away. I'm not sure why. It should have started right away, but it took a bit of time. And here, only three vehicles are uh, capturing this city, and this is a large city. This one's physically bigger than some of the other cities, but um, yeah. Now I can't use my goal. My end goal is to use fanatical uprising. But uh, we have, we're not ready for that yet because I gotta get six cities. I can't. It doesn't work with just six uh, little segments of the progress bar. You have to actually get to six cities. And this one, I don't even bother changing it back to the more powerful vehicles because I have just enough to uh, <laughs> do that. And now I'm going to use Fanatical Uprising because I have six cities. All right. And this should uh, take them over really fast because they're really close to my home. And now time for Space Stage. And Space Stage is a bit controversial. Uh, there have been many angry comments left in the past about Space Stage. Not on my channel because I haven't done this category yet, but on others' channels. King Lee's channel. Um, now because we have the ability to uh, use other space saves and influence this save, uh, you're going to see in a second, we left a little present for us. And that saves a minute. Just a minute. Only a minute. Yes, having 99 spice of three different flavors is, uh, flavors? Not actually sure what kind of, what spice is used for. And this is kind of the, uh, hellish part of the run. You gotta click between two stars. In this, in this category, you gotta do it 400 times. In the regular category, you only have to do it 150 times. Mm. And we do it here because it costs no energy. But I've explained that in previous runs. I'm not very good at this section. And um, I'm actually going to uh, split it up into two parts. We're going to get Frequent Flyer 2 and Frequent Flyer 3 on two different occasions. I'm going to scan first. One more minute of just pure clicking. This part of the run I really don't like, but um, yeah. So um, after I finish with this, I'm gonna sell spice back to my own empire and buy the wormhole key because there's a wormhole nearby. And I'm going to take that very near the uh, center of the galaxy. We don't need any energy packs for this because we end up so near the center of the galaxy. But yeah, first we got to get this out of the way. And this is a... I really don't like this. I can't express to you how much I don't like this. But I got gold split anyway, so uh, that's bog. Pink Spice seems to be the way to go here. Sometimes they don't uh, sell it to you for enough money and you gotta go find another empire to uh, get to uh, sell to and that's kind of a time loss and that's kind of a bummer but um, in this case that wasn't the case. Good RNG. And now we go through the wormhole with Morgan Freeman or rather Savage Brick. Eh, it's just as good. I feel like I got a deeper voice. Now we're very close. We don't need any energy packs, but I do have to pause here because one of the stars I gotta go to hasn't shown up yet. There we go. And I should, I should, I really should memorize this uh, star path route. 
because I end up, uh, I do a double click there, so I click on two stars very close to each other, and that kind of messes things up. I am able to uh, go under and completely drain my energy, which actually slows things way down, and I, <laughs> I took 800 damage there, but uh, there we go. 2333. That is a new world record in this category. Faster than the segmented run, but that's not really a big surprise. We skipped most of the travel stage. Um, so yeah, leave any uh, comments and uh, if you have any questions, and if you want to uh, talk more about this speedrun, you can uh, join the uh, speedrunning Discord. I'll link it. It's linked on the uh, speedrun.com page. Now, for future improvements, um, Space Stage was pretty good. Civ Stage was pretty good. Um, although we could change Civ Stage, so there's only four cities, but I'm not really going to be the one to do that because I want the one who made this galaxy. Kingly Valence was the one who gave me this galaxy, and I'm sure I think Horde Henry was the first person to. Uh, Use terrain tools to uh, skip large portions of the game. Um, so yeah, it's out of my area of expertise. I've never uh, done any uh, terrain editing myself. From what I know, sometimes the uh, terrain editing um, kind of resets itself after you reload the reload the game. So yeah, who knows? But uh, anyway. Future improvements, we could improve Civ Stage if we do that thing that I just mentioned. Um, travel Stage, we can improve, can't improve. Space Stage, we can't really improve that much. Uh, unless we find a way to use a wormhole without the key, which would actually save many minutes in the regular category, but uh, we don't know how to do that yet. Or if that's even possible. Uh, creature Stage, it could save a minute or two. You know, that stage is really fluky. But I have a few ideas on how to do that. And cell stage would save 30-ish seconds. But that would be really, uh, that would be a fluke and a half if we got to uh, 320 on a cell stage run. More uh, realistically, 10 seconds could be saved in, in uh, cell stage. But I want to count on it. Although, if I just got that glitch first try, that would be 10 seconds right there. If I got a better uh, last level, that would be another 10 seconds. Huh. Alright, I guess it's easier than I thought. And as always, I'm going to look through my entire history before finishing this run. Or this stream, I guess. That, that is the entirety of Space Stage. We earned two Master Badges, sold some Spice, and we made it to the end. Civ Stage is a bit of a mess. Uh, that's the entirety of Tribal Stage. Creature Stage is... Cell Stage and Creature Stage are both the same as normal. Although I do one less evolution than the old route in Cell Stage, so that saves some time. Um, being a Shaman... Being social in Creature Stage saves like... I don't know, it saves like... 10-ish seconds in travel stage, but it would lose around 10-ish seconds in space stage, so I'm not sure if that's actually the optimal route. Might say it might lose more than 10 seconds in space stage. But uh yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'm actually gonna save this and uh if you want to download the galaxy, I'll have the link in the description. But uh that's about it. Thanks for watching.